Hello, I'm Atuba Judge and Happy New Year once again. Praise God. I'm so excited. No, I'm excited. This year is a special year. I'm telling you the truth. Because you are a child of God is a special year for you. Now, my heart is so full. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot to share. There's a lot to tell you. Let, let me read something to you. The book of Isaiah chapter 34 from verse 1. I'm going to be reading a lot of scriptures to you. But this, this is a prophecy. See, I am reading a prophecy to you. So as I read, there are points I will stop to explain. But this is where we are right now. Praise God. Yeah. Isaiah spoke about these days. Now from verse 1, Isaiah chapter 34, it says, Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountains shall be melted with their blood, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Did you see that? And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Edom and upon the people of my curse. Did you note that? It's not for everybody. It says it's coming down on the people of my curse to judgment. Verse 6. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It it is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidney of rams. For the Lord had a sacrifice in Bozrah and a great slaughter in the land of Edom. Verse 7. And the unicorn shall come down with them and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. Did you see that? Notice, I'll read that again, verse 8. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. Now, someone can prophesy and say, hey, it's the day of the Lord's vengeance. And everybody begins to quick. Hey, 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 listen. The day of the Lord's vengeance is also the year of the recompense for the controversy of Zion. What does that mean? It's the same day or the same year that God is coming to recompense Zion for all the, all the wrong that have been done to her. Now, you know what Zion is? Praise God. Zion is a city that represents God's children. Now, not a physical city for now, but it's a people. Praise God. So, so if you belong to Zion, he's talking about you, that it is your season for recompense. Now, you know what recompense means? So when he says the year of vengeance, you think of killing and, and judgment and destruction. Hey, it's also the year of recompense. He's coming to recompense, pay back. See, restore. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone. And the land thereof shall be, become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched nights nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. But the cormorants and the beaten shall possess it. The owl also and the raven shall dwell in it. And he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. They shall call the nobles thereof to the kingdom but none shall be there and all her princes shall be nothing the thorns shall come up in her palaces nettle, nettle and bramble, brambles in the fortresses thereof and it shall be an habitation of dragons and a cut of owl the wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island and the sats shall cry to his fellow the screech 
The screech owl also shall rest there and find for herself a place of rest. There shall be great owl, there shall the great owl make her nest and lay and hatch and gather under her shadow. There shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with his meat. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. Did you see that? In the midst of all these things, what's the advice the Lord is giving you? He says, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded and his spirit it had gathered them. Did you see that? <laughs> Take the book of the Lord. Read. Find out what it has said. Praise God. You know, he says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. See? Now watch this. Verse 17. And he had cast the lot for them, and his hand had divided it upon them by line. They shall possess it forever. From generation to generation shall they, shall they dwell therein. Now this, this continues into chapter 35. It's still a prophecy. It says, the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice, even with joy and singing. And the glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. The excellency of Carmel and Sharon, they shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. Think about it. How is this going to happen? It's beginning to happen already. Oh, I've got great news for you. Praise God. This week, I've got a lot in my spirit that, that will bless you. Praise God. Let me finish this up. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm. Now, he, he begins to talk about the recompense of Zion. That's what he's talking about right now. In the early part of chapter 34, he's talking about the judgment on the nations. But then he began to talk about the recompense of, of Zion. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So he says, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's coming not to destroy you. He's coming to save you. Praise God. Now that's what you expect. So when God says, when, when, when you hear God is coming for judgment, Yes, praise God. Judgment doesn't mean he's coming to kill you. Judgment means he's coming to recompense. He's coming to pay you back. Mm. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. So he says, say to them that of a fearful heart. Are you of a fearful heart? I hear the Lord commanding me to tell you right now. Be strong and fear not. Now, why would he say that? Because there are lots of things out there to make you afraid. There are lots of things to make, you know, now, 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 listen, there is, there is one thing to be of a fearful heart. Then it's another thing to actually see something that will make you afraid. <laughs> you see, those that are strong, when they see things that scares people, they, they charge at it. say, what is there? You know, remember David. David wasn't of a fearful heart. So when he heard the roaring of Goliath, he didn't run away. The Bible says he ran towards him. Praise God. But there are those who have a fearful heart. Anything will scare them. Now to them, he is saying, be strong and fear not. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He shall come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Glory to God. Then shall the lame, lame man leap as a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall water break out, and streams in the desert. Are you seeing these things? Oh, glory to God. The eyes of the blind will be open. Why? Because they need to see the glory of God. The ears of the deaf will be unstopped. They need to hear of the goodness of God. He said the lame man shall leap as a heart. That he said, he said miracles are going to be happening to people. Physical and spiritual blindness. The eyes will be opened. Because the glory that was made for them is here. Hallelujah. Kabo Shata Calibre. Look at what he says. He says, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Even the tongue of the dumb will sing, for the wilderness shall break 
shall for in the wilderness shall water break out. Think about it. Hmm. Where was this water all the while? It's been there, hidden. <laughs> oh, and streams in the desert. Not one stream. It says streams in the desert. Hallelujah. And the patch ground shall become a pool and the testy land spring of water in the habitation of dragons where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rosses. And a and highway shall be there, a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those the wayfaring men, though fools shall not err therein. <laughs> no lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up therein. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away. This is what the Lord is saying to you. This is what the Lord is saying to you. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? It doesn't matter what last year has been. You hear me? This year is different. This year is different. Not because of what is going on outside. But listen, because the word of the Lord has come to his children. And he is telling us, focus on my word. Look on my word. That's why he told us, get the book of the Lord and begin to read it. <laughs> get the book of the Lord and begin to read it. He has made all great plans for us already. Hallelujah. Yes. If you are a child of God, this is your season. You say, oh, I don't think I'm a child of God. Then get saved. Get saved. Even right now, get saved. No more long. I mean, no more. Uh, I don't know whether it's time to get saved. Become a child of God. You want to do that right now? Let's not waste time about it. Just say with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus. Praise God. <laughs> say, Lord Jesus. I believe your word. And I come to you today. Because I want to be a child of God. Save me. Become my Lord. Take me into your bosom. And let me be nourished of you. Open my eyes to see. And let me boldly declare you as my Lord. I receive you right now into my heart. And I confess with my mouth. And let that become my testimony. Jesus, you are my Lord. Yes and amen. Praise God. Yeah. You have asked him. It is his responsibility now to answer you. And you know what I know about him? He doesn't turn anyone who comes to him. So if you pray that prayer with a sincere heart, he'll save you. And I want to hear from you. Praise God. Yes, because we've got some things to help you with. To help you stand and to encourage you. It doesn't matter where you are. Let us hear from you. Praise God. I, I, I've got lots of things to share with you this week. So, so don't miss any of this week's broadcast. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, this is our super judge. Be blessed. Praise God. Be blessed. Bye-bye.